It's not necessarily a specific technology, but more it's the way that we uh, stitch together various solutions to create a um, synergistic environment that uh, provides much more personalized uh, experiences for our users and a rich set of data for the institution. I think the move into this new modality of thinking uh, isn't so much about the hardware, isn't so much about the sof software, isn't so much about the culture, but it's about all of them together. I think there's a symbiotic uh, behavior where innovators will put something in front of us, we'll leverage it, and then we'll ask for more. And that more drives some additional behaviors of creativity and additional innovation. In addition to that, our students are bringing numbers of innovations to us and they're expecting a home-like experience as they embrace uh, their learning uh, environment and they embrace the educational experience, perhaps in, in residence halls. So we're learning that we have to adapt to them as well and, and understand how to leverage and bring all of those factors into their experience. One of the things that I think is really central to the next generation of enterprise IT is data. And it's about data governance, it's about the free flow of data uh, between systems and across the institution. And um, in ways that I don't think have occurred in the past, where uh, you had business units that would uh, be possessive of certain types of data. Um, I think data is being viewed as an institutional asset now. And then I think the technology is evolving to the point that allows for the free flow of this data. And that's really one of the differences I see in this next generation from where we are today, which is more siloed systems or monolithic systems. I agree.